the first successful Mars mission was in 1964. Along the way, Mars would become the space probe cemetery. A lot of space probes have been lost along the way. Some of them we lost track of upon their arrival. Others flew past the planet without stopping, and none of those probes proved useful. The first flyby of the planet was achieved by the American spacecraft, Mariner 4. We're counting engine start. Ignition. On November 28, 1964, the space probe was launched from Cape Canaveral. In July the following year, it successfully flew past Mars and took 21 pictures. But calling them pictures might be a stretch. The first image came out in the Jet Propulsion Laboratory as a sequence of numbers. It took a while for the scientists to convert those numbers into a picture. They took a big sheet of paper full of squares and started coloring the squares with a pencil in various shades of gray to recreate the image. So the first picture we have of the planet is actually a handmade one. Almost four years prior to man's first steps on the moon, Mariner 4 was a significant victory after a string of unsuccessful attempts by both the Americans and Russians. The pictures sent by Mariner 4 made Mars look like a barren, hostile planet covered in craters. Mariner 4 gave us a wrong impression of the planet because it showed numerous craters. We figured it looked like the moon, only much less alive than we thought it would be. Only during the following missions did probes in orbit send pictures of valleys and streams of some sort. That's how we discovered how geologically rich this planet actually was. Nine more missions were launched by the Soviets and the Americans. Most failed. But in 1971, the American spacecraft Mariner 9 became the first to orbit around another planet. It sent back views of the planet's dust storms, volcanoes, and polar caps. 